Hi, I am Satyanarayan here. Welcome to my channel Electronics Lab Made Easy. Today, let us study about FM modulation. This is for 6th and Communication Lab 18 is 7 is its subject code. So here we are going to use 2206IC. The general description is uh, explained here in this frame. Please go through it. And let us implement the practical practically how exactly the FM is generated. Rig up the circuit on the breadboard as in the circuit diagram as shown here. See here there are two important components we have to consider R and C. Before connecting the circuit diagram, mount the IC on the breadboard, connect VCC at pin number 4 and 1 to the ground. After that you connect R 10 kilo ohms and C 0 0.01 microfarad and check the output at pin number 2 you will get a waveforms because our design is for 10 kilohertz according to the formula 1 divided by RC see this is the circuit diagram which I rig up on the breadboard where IC 2206 is used and the resistor 10 kilo ohms and the capacitor is 0 0.01 microfarad so assemble neatly so that it will not touch with the con components with the other so according to the design it is 10 kilohertz carrier frequency will generate after connecting a power supply of plus 12 volts now see the output at pin number 2 a sine wave is generated and measure the frequency first you measure the time period for one cycle and it is clearly seen that it is one division multiplied with 0.1 milliseconds it means exactly 10 kilohertz according to our design see go through it it is multiplied with time based control of 0.1 milliseconds so that it is generated so the sine wave is generated at pin number 7 now we are going to introduce a modulating signal of 1 kilohertz sine wave and an amplitude of roughly 1 volt peak to peak say I am going to connect here modulating signal in the function generator the moment you connect just monitor on the CRO how the carrier signal is converted to frequency modulation shape now observe fm now on this cro see that carrier signal is converted into frequency that is modulation takes place since the frequency is very according to the modulate modulating signal amplitude here you can observe that a stream of sine waves with respect to the modulating signal amplitude variation and it is clearly explained here f max and f minimum so from this you can calculate frequency deviation but it is practically impossible to measure f max and f minimum there is an alternate method now i am going to show you how to measure that f max f minimum now turn the time based control as shown See that the moment you will get the waveform like this from this waveform you can measure f max and f minimum easily without any problem see that measure the distance between the stream point to the first wave of the input that is called f max again from that point to 
count the number of divisions from there you can measure the time period so if you will get the time period more means the frequency is less that means f minimum you will get so f max f minimum from this you can calculate all parameters which required for frequency modulation thank you for the observation subscribe my channel and it helps many students it is useful for my work there are fm radios advantages and dis disadvantages are there let us see disadvantages before conclusion the channel bandwidth in fm is much higher up to 10 times of am advantages all the transmitted power of fm is useful while in am most of the transmitter is low. fm broadcast operates in the upper vhf so you go through this and kindly subscribe download pdf files from the below description thank you 